Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. We yes, chill. sir. We Another again. week. Another it's gonna be a good week, week man. man we it's gonna here, be a good man. fucking we week coming up. Music, man. Hey, man. It's, it's a good day, man. This is definitely a good day. We got a special fucking guest in the building. One of the man. I don't even know what. To, I don't even know how to fucking introduce. How to introduce him, man? Like... <laughs> hey, look, if you don't fucking know, you need to know. Yeah, you, you definitely know, need, you to need to fucking get know. It to him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Open your fucking ears up. Pay the fuck attention. This is real fucking hip hop shit. <laughs> that bullshit y'all niggas out here listening to. That real good shit, nigga. All right, that's all. So, <laughs> we got an introduction. So here we go. Get up, good, get up, uh, get up, get up, get up, get up, good, get up, uh, get up, yeah, get up, get up, get up, good, get up, uh, get up, yeah, get up, get up, good, hop, uh, get up, yeah, I'm on your head now. I did not come here to play around, no, no, you scared now. You will not make it home safe, the sound, let's make it clear now. I do this shit, I make you scream and shout, and yeah, I'm here now. Taking you and bringing down your house, I done came along, you just. We got Jay yeah, Josephine yeah. in the motherfucking Jay building. The building. Hey, yo, thank you guys for having me. You make you you make you make me sound so good. I can't even lie to you. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, no, look. you you, know you did know. the shit that made us made you sound. Hey, good. I'm about to say you, we know what we know. If you know and and, and, and and to the clip, um, shout out to Community Love. They um Christian Love Child. He filmed that um that clip for me. And uh, they've been doing a lot for the community. And uh, the clothes I had on was Hippie Inc. Like, I just had to give them they oh, proper yeah, shout out because the they showed they showed me hella love for that. They really did. Oh yes, sir. yeah. So yeah, yeah Miss J. Josephine, and how are you doing? How you feeling? Man, I just been working. I, I'm motivated. Um, it's a lot of good things happening right now uh, for me. So I just been inspired. Like I'm good. I can't complain. I cannot complain. For sure. I, I bet you can't right now. You know, <laughs> shit going on. A little a little razzle dazzle. Yes. <laughs> get him in there. Get him in killing him right now. Hey, that was um not my first placement, but my first major placement. Um the HBO network and with um that type of show, Lovecraft Country, for it to be that it's gonna be, I think that that show is gonna be pivotal, it's gonna be long running. Jordan Pill's uh excellent mind. So for me to be a part of it, and uh, Raphael Sadiq helped that that with the music supervision. I, I hear he's he's is he like I mean of course he is because I, I never got, hey, look I never got to meet him. I'd be fronting if I said I did, but I know that he handpicked my song, and okay. I'm honored. You know what I'm saying? I'm honored. That says a lot to your craft, though. Yeah, yeah. That says a lot to your anniversary craft. right there. Like, yeah. yeah, and uh, shout out to Position Music for making that happen. That's one of the um, publishing companies that I'm signed to that made that happen. Like, they they go hard. Go, go. Yeah, because man, like, it's crazy, man. Like the growth, like you know, I've I've, I've seen. <laughs> well, you you know me since I had braces and a curly top. You know with, what I mean? So with the, with the curly pony. Rapping- yeah, rap, <laughs> rapping at the lunch tables, trying yeah. to like prove a point with yeah. Yeah, hey, look, and that's what it was though. We all had to go through it. So and now I appreciate I sometimes, much, yeah. Bro. I ain't gonna say too much, but if you ain't go to one of Jade uh house parties and and, and house school, <laughs> nigga, you, <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much, but if you ain't make it to one of her house parties in high school, nigga, you, you fucked up. Hey, hey, yo, my mom was the goat, yo. Uh, rest in peace. She was the goat. She yo, oh, she made sure my friends had fun. And if you had too much fun, you had to stay in the house. She was make sure you were safe. It was cool. Like we we had fun. And what's 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 great is like all the friends that I had at that time. Are still the friends that I have now. Yeah, for real. Like I, greatest time of my life, man. When it's genuine, you can't you can't fuck that up. Nah, you can't you can't tarnish. Like you yeah. know, with genuine friendships, even if like y'all have a falling out, more times than not, unless it was some crazy snake shit, like y'all gonna end up chopping it up. Like man, that shit was dumb as hell. Right, 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 right. And that's how I take it now. Yeah, you know I'm saying I don't cry over. I know I don't shed tears over lost friends anymore. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Man, you gotta keep moving. Hey, look, friends ain't gonna pay them bills. <laughs> and nah, man. Nah. nah. Not at all. But that's definitely uh I I had a 
question that I wanted to ask you, and you know, we touched on it a little bit after, uh, before the show started, but back when you first started and you was coming out, you was, I would hear little things around, little rumblings around Jay Josephine, like you were just saying, <laughs> it's hard being a female Man. to get noticed, <laughs> getting respected, getting understood in that aspect. Yeah. And one of the things that I always used to notice about you was your style at the time, how you just didn't give a fuck. You was just going to get the bars <laughs> off. You was going to, they were solid. But that's yeah. just the thing is I practice. Y'all don't understand. I practice those bars. I yeah. sat there. I, I used to pick a word out the dictionary a day and make sure I rapped with it Good. like after a while. So eventually my mind became that. So I'm just picking words and I really went into hip hop um, and rapping making sure that I, I, I perfected my cadence, my delivery, um, everything. Cause my older cousins, they all rap. They were a part of a group called Power Cypher Divine. And that sound like some, they call it POD. You know what I'm saying? It sound like some mob deep Wu-Tang shit. And that's all we listened to. That's all I was around. So I rap that way. And so when I, I know coming off as a rapper, as a female anyway, you're gonna listen, even though even if you don't want to, because you want to be like, is she hot or is she dumb? Is she just gonna talk about her pussy, whatever? So I knew niggas was gonna listen regardless, just to see what I was talking about. And then when I came with a like, like some shit where I'm really, really spitting uh, intricately and intellectually, I knew it was gonna be like, whoa! Now let me zoom in to what she's saying, and then boom, punch, punchline. Then I gotta hit you with a punchline, so you're like, oh, okay, now I can laugh because I ain't know what the fuck she was saying before. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I really just worked on my methods um, and I became confident in that. And so I was like, I just got to make everybody hear it. And my mom was a big part of that because she was like, she never, she never liked, I mean, she liked rap. You know what I mean, she liked mm -hmm. rappers and stuff like that. But she was like, she never really got into it until I started really rapping. And she would start throwing me punchlines and this, that, and the third. And she like, rap, just do it. What's stopping you from doing it? She made me change my major in college. That and that's big. Cause that's most big. people don't that's big. Yo, most mothers and parents don't take that type of thing seriously. And she was nah. like, You wanna be a psychiatrist? You wanna that's what you wanna do? You should you should rap. Stop wasting my fucking money. And I was like, yeah. Okay, ma. <laughs> Got yeah. you. That's you know what I'm saying? Right so that's that's how it that's how it started. I had the mind frame and the will, you know what I'm saying? That's good. That's a good thing to always have when you're dealing with that because you can get thrown off by so much. So. Very easily. Yeah. For very, sure. Very, very easily. I so mean, I like, go ahead. No, no, go, go. Speak. Go, uh, I was go. just going to say, you know, people see, like, the glamour in what I've become but don't know the struggle. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying, so. But go ahead. <laughs> yeah, no, I was kind of piggybacking, so that was a good segue into my next question because, um, you know, I see you said you had to find your cadence and everything. So when you found it, so was your sound like, was it just, did it organically just come to you one day? Like, or was it like, <laughs> oh no, you just kept experimenting. <laughs> and then when some shit clicked, you was like, this is what I'm fucking with. This is it. This, is, <laughs> this sounds like me. Well, to be honest with you, um, I still don't have a direct um, sound. Like, cause I'll get on anything. Like I'll rap on anything. Yeah. And so I don't necessarily have a sound, but once you, you know that if you're gonna get me on a record, I'm gonna rap fast as fuck at some point. Yeah. Like yeah. At, at some point, I'm rapping hard and fast for four to eight bars straight. Like, <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like it might be a cool, goofy record or a pop record, you. a rock record, but, but then it's gonna happen. Four bars, yo. Yeah. At some point, that's what you know. That that might be my signature is where yeah. because I'm I'm originally from Detroit, so that I got that Midwest type of feel. Um, mm -hmm. Twister, you know what I'm saying? The brat, like I listen to a lot of that. So I got the fast, the the fast flows. I love that. And then it's impressive when you can actually understand. I was I had a conversation with Corey Guns about that. Um, um, and he put me onto a lot of game when um when he first got signed to Cash Money, he used to come to Virginia a lot. And I actually used to link with him. I knew the owner of Blakely's. I don't know if y'all remember Blakely's. Yeah, we the <laughs> Come on, man. Do we remember Blakely's? 
Just you know how many joints stop pulling out the case? <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> hey, look. So he, he used to link me with Corey Guns and um, anybody that came through, like Talik really uh, tried to link me with anybody that was coming through. And me and Corey Guns really, really hit it off. And so every time he came to Virginia, he would hit me up. And we had a really big conversation about um, Buster Rhymes flow because me and Corey Guns both rhyme fast. He didn't know I rap fast at first. He didn't know I rapped at all when he met me because I don't let people know that. I'm not trying to become your friend off of something like that. Yeah. I want you to know me. So he didn't even know I rap. So one day I spit for him and I started rapping fast as fuck because I know he rapped fast. Yeah. And we had a really deep conversation about Buster Rhymes and how it went from him rapping fast and it meaning something to now because music has changed, not his fault, because the new album is very lyrical, but yeah, when he was doing say. like the look at me now with Chris mm, Brown yeah. and stuff like that. And he had a point, he had a pointer around. He was like, every time I'm going to get it and I got to get it and I got to, and listen, he wasn't saying anything at all. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So it was the fact that he was just rapping fast. He was just rapping fast. And so me I and Corey Guns- I Spanish. <laughs> right, like I mean, he's the goat. Don't don't yeah, ever get it twisted. But sure. it was just a point that was made about rapping fast and actually still saying something. Okay. And so now that I do that all the time, I make sure that that's something. So if if there's a signature, that's it. Okay, like I get I get you on that one. One mm -hmm. thing I do want to ask you: we talked about the D. We got to talk about your impact in the seven five seven. I don't know if it was such an impact or if it is. Man, I think that listen. now I think that people respect me because I work hard. Yeah. But like, I can't say it's such a huge impact. I think as far as the artists, I've impacted the artists. Yeah, that's then this was leading to my question. <laughs> Who was your favorite 757 artist to work with? Uh, you got to pick one. To work with my favorite artist to work with mm -hmm. from the 757. We ha hands down, it would have to be Lucid. Um, okay. We have fun. Uh, not only do we have fun on records, um, we both in it for the same reasons. And his drive and his passion is just as hard as mine. He used to play basketball. Like we went to the same school and stuff too. And I didn't, th I didn't even know he rapped like mm -hmm. until he graduated college. You know what I'm saying? He got out of college. Mm -hmm. And um, then he really started pursuing his music career really hard. But I think that's one of my favorite artists to work with um, from Virginia because, I mean, creative. he won it. Yeah, his like he's creative. Right. His, vis his visuals are, are always popping. Yeah. And my visual, I don't, I don't even have visuals. So I, yeah. I, respect, I respect him on that. Like, and right. it, everything's right. meaningful. Everything he does sure. is actually meaningful. He even stopped right. cursing in all of his rhymes so that it could be universally heard. And I respect that. Even though I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. So I say bitch fuck and all of that. Because yeah. I, be I believe I believe curse words have a certain um eloquence about them. Um and they they hit a certain mark that regular vocabulary can't. Can't. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like telling but, somebody, yo, hush up and hush the fuck up. It's like <laughs> a very big difference. And so, you know, I but I respect him for that. You know what I'm saying? But um that's my favorite artist to work with. Now my favorite artist in the 757, that's a whole different thing. The, my that favorite producer is a whole different thing. Favorite, uh, my, my most respected artist is a favorite thing. So. Well, let's let's go ahead and run it down there since we're here. Oh, I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> you brought it up, you brought it up. That's a I mean, favorite artist in the um, my favorite artist would have to be Intellect. Um, mm. He's, one of the rappers that I could go toe to toe with and then feel like he might have hurt my feelings on the record. Like, <laughs> but it's always respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I really, I really, really, man, that, that his mind, his mind is, is crazy. And yeah. people, people, I think he slept on because he's not as commercial. Mm -hmm. Um, But he has, he has it. And people need to see it. Like he's fire. Like he really is fire. And the message that he's sending is is great. My most respected artist in the seven five seven is um is Boogie from DMP. Mm -hmm. Uh, shout out, man. 
Legendary. Yo, been putting in work. Like, been putting in work. Legendary. Uh, well, let been me been tell you, work. it's complete work. And the only reason I even just singled out Boogie from DMP is because he actually took me under his wing and mentored me for uh, quite some time. And I would be uh, ill-equipped to handle some of this, this the, 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 the street rap shit without him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He put me on to a lot of game and how the uh, the the studios work out here. And he uh, introduced me to a lot of people. He's the reason why I know Knots now. Mm-hmm. And um, I opened for Rod Digger because of him. Um, I'm on I'm on the future as female. Knots is having a um, he's dropping a rec uh, uh, album with nothing but female artists. A lot of them from Virginia. That's the and, lot uh, of and I'm on I'm on two of those. And shout it's going to shout out the Knots. Yo, out it's Nats. it's big. So and so. You know, I will be remiss if I didn't mention Boogie because every, every if, and then if you don't, if you rap around here, you know who he is. Yeah. Period. Oh yeah. End of story. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Producers, man, if it's you're a around list. here. You don't know every word that can't get that up. Something fucking wrong with you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. The like the love, and then, and then, excuse me to all my 804. Um, artists and producers because oh, I, yeah. I respect them a lot and I love them a lot but the thing is I'm around these people yeah. you know what I'm saying so mm-hmm. and I'm familiar with them I know I know their life stories type shit so yeah um so but I, I respect a lot of them you know Noah oh I respect him um uh uh it's a uh, Mike 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 damn Mike Mizzle is a couple of them up there in, in oh, 804 hey look Mike Mike been putting in on work for a little minute. Hey, look, so you know it's it's a it's people from the eight oh four I respect, but yeah, it, look, man, shout out the driver for the made driver in Norfolk. Been, look, driver. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He put in real work, opened a store dedicated to it. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect him. He's awesome. It's it's too many to mention. It's yeah, it's because yeah. everybody's out here working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of female rappers out here that get looked over because they don't have the exposure but i know them and they are dope they are dope you know what i'm saying so like chicks chicks is one of my favorite rappers in the world and nobody knows who she is and she can produce her ass off and about to listen like yo oh, so I, really i'm hip so and, and I, I I look i know her since i was 18 i was sparring with her since i was 18 and she and if you wanted to talk about a young and may like she was the first you know what i'm saying like yeah y'all tell yeah i'm gonna have to, second I'm gonna, me on that. I'm gonna have to lock in no that's a yeah. fact that's a like, pure definitely fact. Have to lock in. you know what i'm saying so and that's- asa she's dope i used to battle battle her in high school um her name's Asa, or some people call her Ace. And Ace has been around for a while too. Oh, hello? Like, man. Yo, and uh she was a uh, Shaggy from Z104's artist for a while. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She was putting in hella, she's still putting in work and yeah. and ASA, and you can't shit. forget it. Can't miss yeah, it. A-S-A. You can't forget it. ASA. You can't forget it. You know. And so, and then after this Lovecraft Country thing, I ended up linking with a lot of artists and producers because I came back to Virginia from Cali and um, I ended up meeting a whole bunch of people that either I needed to work with before I left or um, I'd never met before and they're amazing. Um, Don Kevo, he's amazing. I just met him. Um, I, I knew Bobby Blaze before, but I really just got familiar with his music. He's fire, you know what I'm saying? So I ended up meeting a lot of people and connecting with a lot of people because your name starts going around once you yeah, start you doing a little bit of shit. Right. So, you know, it's a lot of people out here I, I, I still want to work with. Okay. Okay. I see that. Yeah, come on, man. I, I, I knew it was coming. Country, That's why I smiled. Hey, I knew it was I did, coming. I'm not going to pressure you, but you you know, you know you owe me some vocals right now. <laughs> you owe me some vocals right now. We like right, like literally right now too. Yeah, <laughs> we was talking about that drive. So like, I got you, Jade. I got you. I you told you, me. I got you. Yeah, we <laughs> talking about that drive you need as an artist just to keep pushing, yeah. keep pushing. Right. Like me and him talk about it all the time. Like I, I was heavy into it. I was heavy into it. I was ready. I went to Cali one time, and after that one time going to Cali, I lost my love for the shit. Oh yeah, I, I, it's simple. Hey yo, 
and Cali will you drain going? you with that. What, what kept you going to the point, or was there a point where you was like, you know what, I'm done with this shit? And yeah. then, and pick <laughs> up, I, yo, before like I kind of hit this like that ceiling, that roof. I um. <laughs> I wanted to quit rap like every year at some point. Um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, and then after going to jail and stuff like that, I was like, yo, I need to get my life together. And I and I started blaming rap. I was like, this rap shit is ruining me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> because it comes with a certain lifestyle. So I was like, but then I realized I was making those decisions myself. Yeah, exactly. So I could change that. But um I wanted to quit rap every, all the time. And then when I went to California, it's not like that made it easier. I was sleeping on a couch. I was working at Guitar Center. Um, I found out I got a deal while I was on the clock at Guitar Center. I wanted to walk out right then and there, but I knew that <laughs> I wasn't going to get no money off the deal like until like later. So I had to stay. And then I had a, I had got booked by Rock Nation to do South by Southwest while I was out there. And I was like, man, I'm about to quit this job. I, I, but I, I still ended up keeping. I walked. I finally walked out of the Guitar Center, but I, I, um, I kept it until I got my first check. But it was hard. Like, I, I stayed. Like, Cali was hard. Cali felt like I went to jail all over again, but I could eat what I wanted to eat. That's that's a big that's so, a bar right there. Hey, look, that's a whole. <laughs> <laughs> no, like real talk. That's what Cali. That's what Cali felt like. But it was one of the most life changing experiences of my yeah. life, yo. Yeah, For yeah. real, like. Too. I had I to got, make a decision. Yeah. I, I, and and me, I got two kids, so it was. Oh yeah, you had to it, get the fuck out of there. Yeah. Hey, look. When I saw it, it was like I know. I see what this is. I met a guy out there sitting on the side of the uh, Capitol building. Like he had been sitting there chilling. And he yeah. gave me his mixtape, and I'm listening to it, and I'm like, "Nigga, I don't second guess my shit, but this nigga is is really fire. Like this nigga on some cold Kendrick, out of this world type shit." And I'm like, "Ain't nobody fucking with you, man. I've been out here waiting and this and this." But nah, hey yo, my crazy. shit was pure. Like how my first deal happened, it was coincidence. I won't say it was luck. Because it would have happened regardless, but it was coincidence. Nice. I'm I'm laying on my producer's couch, which was also my bed, <laughs> and, <laughs> and um, he got a call. He had just graduated L.A. recording school, and he got a call from one of his professors and was like, "Hey, do you happen to know any female rappers? We need a female vocalist. Um, we got an opportunity for placement with uh, P Valley." And oh, you know, and so I need, you on, <laughs> I need you on that. I don't know if anything will ever happen, but what happened was, I, I, my producer was like, "Yeah, my sister's out here. She raps," and they said they needed something in ten days. So I was like, "Okay, cool." I gave them nine songs in a week. Um, because what I did was, <laughs> my producer pumping. Out, yo, my producer was just pumping out beats. And um, what I started doing was actually reading the play because there's a play. People don't know that it was mm -hmm. on. Um, I'm not quite sure if it was on Broadway. I'm pretty sure if it reached this network than it was. But it was a play um, initially. And so um, what I did was um, me and my girl Poppy, we sat there, read the play, um, started picking characters we liked and lifestyles. And um, then I just I, I became them. So that's what I, I wrote about. That's what I did. Um, the first song that I wrote is called Asphalt, which is the name of the EP, which is My out right now. Song. My um, favorite track. It's out favorite. right now. And that was the first song that I wrote for, for the submissions. Okay. And so they ended up taking five out of the nine that I did, which is the EP that's out right now. Mm -hmm. And um, P-Valley didn't use anything. Uh, Lovecraft Country picked it up. So okay. um, I'm not mad at it. Like, that's I'm not crazy. mad at that's it. That's just crazy. Yeah, because like just think, but think of the contrast yeah, of, of yeah, shows. Yeah, yeah, and I'm writing it for P Valley, so I got some like you know some pussy popping songs on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But then I got like two hard ass records it's up there. Get them is actually about uh get them Gidget, the white girl from P Valley. Mm. Oh, the one in the mm. shit. Her name is Gidget, and yeah. they called her Get Em Gidget. 
yeah. And so, <laughs> I, I and, and she in in the in in the, in the play, she had a really hard life. I mean, yeah. like hard as fuck. So I wrote get him in regards to her mm-hmm. because she was going through so much shit with like uh just growing up and the nigga she was dating and all types of shit. So I was like, all right, bet. So get him was really about this white girl <laughs> that they <laughs> Uh, uh, piss on Pussy Valley, yeah, and, uh, and, and, and that was your Black History Month fact. Hey, that's your Black History fact for the month. That's your Black History fact of the week. Somebody, somebody gonna be like, I know it's somebody dissecting it, right? Like, like, oh, this was about her life when it was this, nah. and this, and this. Because it was I knew about a, when she was seventeen, girl. she scraped the knee off the bike. I'm telling you, that's what it is. Oh, no, don't get it twisted. Like I still, I still, you pull from personal because if it oh, don't yeah, sound yeah. like me, I can't. Speak. It, you know what I'm saying? You but no, you so know how they, cool. is. Like they start, you know, dissecting know everything as soon as you put it out. Like, you know where the came from. like nigga, but that's where that that's where the the plot came from. But that I mean, get them is a real thing. But that's where the plot came from. Oh, we see it's a real thing. Mm-hmm. We see it's a real thing. Everybody see it's a real thing. You, you can't fake no stream numbers, man. Oh man. <laughs> mm. Mm. You can't fake those stream numbers. Hey, yo, it took a long time, cause too. Don't don't get it twisted. I was getting like seven hundred streams, <laughs> like two thousand, hey. and hey, then that look. should have hit sixty five thousand one day. And I was like, can, oh, happen, life is. Focused. I was like, <laughs> life has changed. My first placement, my first placement was for Kohler, and you know they do like toilets and appliances, yeah. and but my first placement was for Kohler, but that was. Life changing, and I produced that record myself, so I got a hundred percent of that, John. Oh yeah, yeah. See, and that's the thing. So you know, me and myself, like as a voice actor, people don't realize how much, but how much money is behind the scenes. Like, oh yeah, but the like, behind the scene work is like for real, for real. Now, when people ask me what do I do, I'm like, I do music for TV and film, because yeah. literally, yeah. if I if I'm writing in something, even if it's like my own album. I want to make sure that I can sell it for TV and film. Cause yeah. what's the point at this point? I mean, like they not trying buy. to say, not trying to say I'm not giving all my art cause I'm giving you my art. Yeah. Like, but I want it to sell. And now I know, and now because I'm in the game, I know how to sell it. And that's what's most important. And that's what a lot of artists are lacking right now. Yeah. Cause at the end of the day, rather, no matter how passionate we are, it's still a business. You know what I'm it's, saying? So you still gotta, you still gotta they, keep the lights on. Yeah, they, they the key is keeping yourself mm-hmm. in whatever you do or whatever you say, holding yourself accountable and your words are still it, but in the same sense, I gotta make it a piece to everyone universally. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like I, my homeboy, he just did the uh he was on a record with Nipsey Hustle and Jay-Z. He mm-hmm. did the background vocals, his name is Jay Black. Oh. And he he puts me on to a lot of game with a, with with selling and stuff like that because he deals with fifteen hundred or nothing in the West Coast and they handle a lot of the production for like um, well any anybody that goes to, to Cali goes to fifteen hundred or nothing yeah yeah like they you should, most people should be very familiar with them they have the bands that do all the Grammy shows and the award shows and stuff like that like fifteen hundred or nothing is popping and so he's a part of that group and so he. He kind of put me onto game, really, too, about how to insert yourself in these situations. So, like, boom, if they need me to write for the city girls, John ja know me. John ja knows me. He knows my heart. He know I'm not no city girl. Like, yeah. <laughs> if, if anything, I'm a goon. Like, I'm not a city girl. But I'm going to make it sound as if Carisha said this from her soul yeah. because now you have to study the actual art of of writing because I know y'all may hear some of these records and be like yo this shit is dumb yes they are but they're dumb for a reason don't think that none of this is not thought of TikTok became a thing and now we making dumb ass songs mm-hmm. with dumb ass beats that are brilliant yeah. as fuck yeah. just to and have people dance on them yeah. just to have niggas do <laughs> it's just some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> what they doing? Goddamn, like, it's it's you you got to move with the movement, and yeah. but maintain yourself, maintain, maintain yourself. your art, maintain mm-hmm. your art and your heart. You know what I'm saying? But still, move with the movement. Otherwise, 
Nobody want to hear this shit. No, nobody. What am I, yo, one of my mentors was like, hey, yo, he heard one of my mixtapes one time. He was like, this shit is so dope. It's so lyrical. But nobody wants to hear this sad shit. It's sad as fuck, Jay. And he was like, people that know you will look at you and be like, I want to kill somebody after hearing these records. Like, what are you going yeah. through? He was like, yeah. no. He was like, yo, that's not the type of artist you want to be. You know what I'm saying? It's not the type of energy that you want to give off. You want to, you know, you want to inspire and motivate. He was like, yeah, you can have these songs. He was like, but Hey Ya is one of the saddest songs in history. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, you're dancing to it, you're moving to it, but it's sad as fuck. That's you know what I'm saying? saying? Like, like, motherfuckers from moving when that shit come on. Nah. So, you, you know, that's why I, I, that's, I started to learn how to sell it, regardless of what the emotion is and the vibe is, is you know, is it equipped? Is it is it going to hit people in the right way where they want to hear it all the time? Nobody want to hear some shit that's going to make them cry all the fucking time. Yeah. I mean, unfortunately, one of my favorite artists, Lupe Fiasco, nobody wanted to hear what the fuck he had to say all yeah. the fucking time. So that now he's not here. Not, I mean, yeah. he's still living, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I'm saying they, he's they not relevant. They tried to blackball him. They tried to blackball him. Because you, can't even, you can't even talk to kids. Younger these days about who Lupe Fiasco is. I They'd be like kick push. I yeah. the and the crazy me. thing is, and and I I say this shit every time it come up, mm -hmm. and I don't care. I'll debate with anybody. If it was not for Lupe, there would be no Kendrick. There would be no Cole. No, there would be no Big Sean. Like he absolutely was the not. motherfucking foundation. And if you want to get serious with it, he lane. helped Kanye kind of Kanye yeah. elevate that shit. That whole backpack. Rap shit. Yeah. Lupe on third, like Lupe in the third, like yeah. When he came yeah. on, touch the sky. So mm -hmm. you gotta like yes, but then Lupe started rap, rap, rapping, rap, rap, rapidly rapping, and everybody was snapping. Niggas was everybody like, "Yo, we don't want to hear this shit." Doing all that shit. All they wanted to hear from him is go to sleep in Paris, wake up in Tokyo. Like they didn't want to hear it, motherfucking the die. No, they no. don't. They didn't, you know want cool. they didn't want to hear the cool. I went. Those. I went to the cool concert too. By the way, that shit was fucking fire. Yeah, no, I was Blue one of Lupe. Lupe was, that shit was fans out here. <laughs> yeah, like I mean, and then VA got a lot of respect for Lupe anyway because you know yeah. Pharrell and yeah. the whole connection and the whole skater yeah. thing was. Yeah. That's our thing. I still got Vans. Don't get it twisted. I got Vans and Jordans. Yeah, <laughs> like, nice. Vans, Jordans, and Air Maxes. That's it. That's all Man, I wear. Both. You know what I'm saying? So. But so um you so I know you done, you done been a few places. You you done been around this little this little map of ours a couple couple little times. marble. Yeah. So my question is, where's your favorite place that you have performed? Damn, that's good. You know what? I ain't going to lie to you. My favorite place that I've performed ever was New York. Reason being because the all right, the first time they I gonna let you know. One thing yes. about New York, they're gonna let you know. They're gonna let you know. Yeah. Yo, my nigga, that's why. Because the promoter was like, "Hey, yo, are you sure you dope?" I'm like, "You heard my shit. Like, I'm here for." It. <laughs> and he like, I mean, she's like, um, "Look, they'll throw chairs at you. They will throw their drinks at you. They will throw anything. They they'll throw another person at you if you suck." Yeah, you know I'm saying it's like so. If you got, they got to be real fucking dope. Yeah, you know I'm saying, and I was like, "All right, this is the test." And they was fucking with it. They called me. I, I went back every year after that. You know what I'm saying? But New York, because it put the most pressure on you to know if your shit is hot or not. I still get nervous if I go to New York because I'm I'm performing new songs. So <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Y'all know like, if it's gonna transfer over. Yeah. Right. You never know. But, yeah. But I mean, luckily, I get I get love there and. One of my favorite places to perform is New York because it's so real. Um, and also uh, Virginia because it's home and you got people you grew up with. And so they'll be like straight up to you like, hey, yo, this was trash. You know what I mean? Like, like, like they, they, don't, they don't say so, but at the end of the day, it's, this shit is fire. When you get home and you play that shit, we going to fuck shit up. Right. <laughs> but one thing I will say, being, being at J shows and shit, Nobody has ever came up to Jay out the new show and say this is trash. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, that, that's what I said. <laughs> Matter of fact, I actually get more love as an artist after I perform. Like I might drop a dope record, but when I perform it, that's when 
niggas be like, my streams go crazy because they understand the energy as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And one of my people told me um, it always takes like 90 days for a record to really sink into someone. But I'm like, yo, as long as I got a little bit of time and people was hearing songs I never, I, ne I haven't even released yet at this last show and they was rocking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really try to make sure my shows are, are popping. And plus, I have one of the best hype men in the world. Uh, Poppy, hype man, Poppy yeah. is the best hype man on the planet, yo. Like, Pop, they, so they just had a show a few weeks ago. And man, when I tell you, they I, told I saw the comments. I saw the comments. Down. Uh, I, I still, um, still got to post the full show, but I am going to post the full show. But it was crazy. Crazy. Yeah, and then, then the owner, the owner turned on the 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 smoke and the lights for us, the lasers and shit for us. It was crazy. Uh, uh, yeah, it looked it looked crazy. It was to the point. You you know how it is with shows. You now I'm saying so. You get on stage and at first is nigga when she and got then, off, <laughs> strangers giving her hugs, <laughs> nigga standing up, clapping on their hands. <laughs> Is that the point where you realize I'm about out of here? I like I'm about out of here. You, you come home to do a show. I seen the promo for it. And mind you, intellect, he was like, here, hey, here. Intellect was like, hey yo, I don't, I don't even want to ask you to do this show without no paper. I was like, yo, it's your birthday. I got you. I'm gonna hold you down. And and then he was like, you want tickets? I was like, no, I'm not about to fucking sell tickets like a local act. And then. Oh, uh, everybody started asking me for tickets. I was like, fuck, I need to get some tickets. Hey, look, I was about to say, you, you different now. <laughs> hey, yo, I sold, I sold out all of the tickets that I had in like four days. Yeah, and I, you know, I was just like, I'm going just, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just pay it at the door. <laughs> I'm going to just, I'm going just, I'm going just door it. Fuck it, I'm going to be there though. Look, when I saw the promo, I said, man, I want to be home so bad because just knowing. <laughs> Just knowing, I'm in Texas right now, but just uh, knowing. Oh, are you okay? Uh, yeah, we good. Hey, no, look, for we, real, you got lights, I see hey, that. Hey, so, <laughs> hold on, Jay, before you start feeling sympathetic for this nigga, last hey, look, week look. we did the show, this nigga <laughs> sipping, this nigga sipping wine and shit, motherfuckers don't got lights. <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers don't got lights and water, he's sipping wine under the lamp it's last week, so here. don't get this nigga no sympathy. Hey, look, hey you was sipping wine when nigga's lights was off? Hey, 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 who was the uh, dude that went and took his family to the Keys or whatever? What's his name? Ted Cruz. You take Cruz. I was here. I was here. But you know, when you get put in certain brackets now, you live life different. You hey, look, you see, hey, look, you see how he leaped out. You see how he leaped back with the glass, right? Like, put your pinky out when you talk like that. Black Lives Matter. Holler at my nigga Pepper for the shirt. Hey, that ain't gonna, they, they still gonna beat your ass when they see you. <laughs> hey, yo, it's one coming for you. You got a, a cold one coming for you, boy. Hey, look, look. It's all right. It's all right, though. I, I, I work hard for this. I work, I work hard. Hey, look, I don't blame you. That's why I respect. Hey, look, that's why I respect the grind, Jay. Yeah. Like I told you, I done seen this from, like you said, a lot of people don't know what you got to actually go through. And the yeah. shit you have to deal with to get to the yeah. point where you at. Right. So that's why we like celebrating shit like that. Like we that's laughing right. and joking to the point that somebody else is out there looking like, damn, she sound like the situation I was in or, or a situation. Mm -hmm. that I hey, yo, I was homeless before. Like, don't get none it, of this shit twisted. After my that. mom died, my shit went way left. Like my life went crazy. And they so got like. They, yeah. we survived. We did this. Yeah. 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 So salute. We 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 did this. <laughs> we here one more day at least. You know what I'm saying? Sure. For sure. We and that's the thing, man. Like, cause we done all been through some shit, nigga. I didn't been home. I didn't been fucked up sleeping on couches, sleeping in my car. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? And we all here. I don't got no 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 patches in my beard no more. My shit grew back in. The stress kind of started going away. The stress. Again. Yeah, dog. I was stressing so bad. This shit started. I started. I thought I was going bald in my shit. I was like, nigga, I ain't no shit. This shit go bald. Like I don't. Not fuck. a bald beard. Don't have lanes in the beard. Uh, doctor was like, nah, they lanes in the beard. <laughs> nah, he was like, they stress patches. I was like, oh, I right, I gotta figure some shit out there because this can't. This ain't it. <laughs> 
as 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 a hip hop as a hip hop pioneer, I'm gonna call it now. Oh my god! <laughs> as a hip hop pioneer. <laughs> no, but where you feel like hip hop at right now? The state of hip hop. Yeah, how do you? Um, that's a good question. How do you feel about the state of music right now, hip hop specifically? It truly depends because if you want to do an overall thing, it's one thing. As far as female rap, shit has ignited people and i oh, think yeah. that that people are actually looking at women a lot more and it don't matter now because now you you, you can be megan the stallion and cardi b or whatever but you can be tiara whack and um fire. Uh, chica you can be chica uh or, or, and you can be just fucking fire either way so things have changed um immensely in that sense so i'm not mad at it like music has if you don't know how to change with the times i feel bad for you because I could complain and be like, hey, yo, this shit dumb and this shit stupid, but how do I make this dumb shit mine? How can I make this, how can I make this dumb ass beat? Like, yo, like some of these beats I hear and I'm like, I can't even find the rhythm of it sometimes. And then I'll hear like Pop Smoke rap on that same type of beat and be like, oh shit, <laughs> whoa, he made some shit that I could never Think about. feel or think yeah. about his. So I feel like you need to be able to evolve. And man, I and now since I'm doing music for TV, I rap on everything. Like I make everything. I do rock records. I do orchestra, like orchestra trailer type songs now, but I'm still rapping like on everything. So I just feel like music is what it is today because we made it that and we got to continue with that. If we want to change it, then fucking change it. That's if, it. You're un if you're unsatisfied with how music is, then change it or grow with it or grow Be beyond coach. it. Yeah, wild, like, wise words. it's just that simple. Like, if you like, man, I hate that. Like, for instance, I got cousins that's in the Wu Tang and all of that, and they still in that era. They still spit like that. Um, and like shout out the Lord Josiah, shout out the Bronze Nazareth. They're big in that in in the D, and um, they still on that vibe. But they don't like throw shade on what I do or how I rap, and they actually respect what I do. And then they're trying to see how they can evolve with that. And you got to respect people that are willing to do that, and that that spit one way, and they're like, all right, well, how can I do this and make it mine? Because it's not. I'm not saying you got to like dumb yourself down. You don't. But you have to be able to vibe with everything, vibe everything. with the art. Yeah. That's why it's an art. Right. It's why it's an art. If you if you complain about the shit, I don't think you can rap because the, you never hear Kendrick complain or Kanye complain. Well, Kanye's different. Yeah. But <laughs> Hope, you ain't never hey, hear Hope. The, the nigga's IQ is 137. Like he's going like, to. It's just Nigga, so much. He's gonna, comp he gonna complain <laughs> about some shit. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But I get it though. I love it. I love it because I'm one of them people. I love this young nigga shit. I, I, I it's do. hype. I, hey, yo. I, I do. I love it. And I see that it's more to it. Than what, than what we think it is. Than, than, than what it really think. is. It's a certain don't. amount of brilliance it takes to be at that level. Yeah. And that's how I'm gonna say it because. I don't want to offend anybody, but it, it takes a certain amount of genius to do that shit. Yeah, and I, like and just look, look at YBN Corday. Yes, what and, and he's so underrated, yeah. and it's crazy because I always feel like this about Griselda in Houston. It's a lot of people that they they don't know who Griselda was, but then would listen to him. I'm telling you, Texas and Virginia, Texas they Virginia. love Griselda. We live yeah. for that yeah. hard, grimy shit. Fact. We love that the shit. Minute, the minute That's they hear it, though, they like, ooh, I got. And that what's feel. crazy ooh, is like, my, my my cousins and my my people, Lord Josiah and them that I was mentioning before, they rap like them niggas. Yeah, and Griselda yeah. came out, and now it's a whole vibe. So yeah, you don't never know. Thing. You don't yep. never know what's going to what what what's going to come back around mm -hmm. because that's all it is. That's all it does. Fashion, music, yeah. TV, yeah. how many sequels or songs you hear with the same pattern. It's revolving circle. So, you got to have respect for it all and be able to make timeless material. If you can make timeless material, you don't complain. I don't complain about shit. No, time <laughs> yeah, get good for everybody. It's you good, make for, it good everybody. for everybody. You a hit. I'm not complaining. I'm yo like i'm not him. complaining like yo him. get him 
And now y'all know the story. You're going to go listen to get them. And you're going to be like, oh, shit. Oh, uh, look, we're going to talk about it off camera. But me and him had the conversation right before it happened. And I was like, this shit is dope. I was like, this shit is dope because it's a dope song. Just in general, your vibe on it, the way you flowed on it. Just, and and that's not even my normal flow, if you notice. I ain't right fast. But no, 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 no. And, yeah. and it, that's why I, when I listen to Asphalt, right? I listened to Asphalt and I was like, this is a song. I, said, real? This, I said, this is a song. And I was like, I fuck with this because I heard, first one I heard was Get Em. Yeah. So, so hearing Asphalt, I was like, this is Jay. I'm I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, this is the art. This is the, where is Right, the Asphalt is me. Asphalt yeah. is every ounce of who I, I am. I like if you feel. listen, if you listen to that song specifically, you'll get a vibe of who I am, and where I, you you know you vibing with it, and where then it becomes lyrical. That's that's how I am. That's my real flow. You heard you know it here first. Go so, get that right now. <laughs> that's a fact. Down the and, and, Make sure you want to know Jay Josephine. Listen to Asphalt. Yeah. That's yeah, go get man. asphalt, and and it's still never too late to go get that white bear too. I'm still bumping. Oh, that. Yeah. Uh, well, white bear is. I I don't <laughs> mention white bear enough. Yeah, it doesn't get enough respect. Shout out to Roswell. He um, Ilian Roswell Ilian, produced. Ilian, Ilian, man, <coughs> all of them. Hey, look, Ilian produced the entire album, and um, I wanted to make so. That's actually how I really rap all the time, uh, yeah. white bear, but um, and that's. I wanted to make something that was very relatable um, and that actually told a story. Black um, it's called White White Bear because of Black Mirror. <laughs> yes. Uh, wow, did you do so research? Good. Hey, look, listen. We I'm might do a little something. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't know that. And if you noticed on the cover, I used uh, one of the Black Mirror symbols on the, on the, on in the um. Go back and look at that. When you look at the cover, like where you can scan, where you mm -hmm. where you're supposed to be able to scan it, and it's like a QR code. It's mm -hmm. really a Black Mirror symbol inside of there. Dope. Yeah. Dope. So it's Dope. that one is a little bit complicated in its structure. Um yeah. And Roswell just ended up giving me a whole bunch of beats, and I was like, I'm gonna make something that tells a story and that I can actually tell a story um, from. So I was into Black Mirror a lot and mm -hmm. that that certain episode stood out to me because it had to do with like social media and judgment and and it had to deal with uh, you not knowing who you, who you really are, what you really did or mm -hmm. what you really have become. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's really, really deep. So I was like, all right, boom, white bear. And then I started doing the project and then people started reaching out to me. I had um, Hamza, a toy do spoken word on it. Um, Bink, uh, he produced Bink? for, yeah, Bink did, uh, Bink for, uh, he produced for Jay-Z and Rick Ross. Mm -hmm. He uh, he did my intro for it. So the intro is like a whole song. And then, a, and then I got him speaking to me at the end, just giving me, uh, giving me advice. That's the intro for the album. So it sets the entire vibe. So, and then most, uh, it's a lot of skits on it because they're all motivational, inspirational um, skits on there. Yeah. Because it's something that you listen to, you work out to, you go to your nine to five to, and feel like somebody understands where I'm coming from. Yeah. That's what that project's about. Like, Go get still, that one too. Yeah. Go get that one too. I still but love yeah, that White Band, Never ever Ilian, I gotta get shout out to Ilian and uh, the pilot. I gotta oh, get yeah. Look, I went, My I told you my cousin Manny, he produced shout out to Manny. He yeah, because I said I know I know Manny. We Manny. just haven't got the chance to really link like that. I'm telling you, we went to the studio and come to find out we cousins. Hey, look, <laughs> look at, at Ilian, he was like, yo, my cousin got bars, this and this and this. We in there, me and Pilot in there rapping on Ilian beats for like two hours. Just yeah. fucked up, just in there, just going in, and he kept coming with beats. And yeah, and he don't get like and, beats oh, on top of beats. He's he, but he's been in the game and doing a lot of shit for a long time. Yeah. He's been kind of slept on, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that he's kind of getting his roses now a little bit. Um, get the album V Lord, that's out, yeah. But yeah, hey, he did White Bear for me, and that it's he also did a, a skit on that too. But yeah, Roswell, that's, that's, that's like that, that's like that. That's 
They need to hear this. I feel like whoever's watching this needs to hear this because it's giving yeah. you something like everything. And it's going to be different from the other female that you hear. I feel like yeah. men men and women both can relate. You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah, sure. I for think sure. it's, it's something that's really universally felt. So yeah, listen to that shit. Listen to my shit. Hey, okay. <laughs> out now. White bear yeah. out now. Good girl turn bad out now. Oh, oh that uh, that good girl turn <laughs> bad. That's for that's for uh I did that for uh Lab Hits, their uh publishing company. So that's for TV film. That's a TV film okay. album. That whole EP. You can hear it kind of. That's it's commercial crazy. shit. Matter of fact, P Valley, you need to double back. <laughs> Yo, double back the ass for hey, P Valley. Look, pick you me. Need to double back, cause you need that. You need that with you. You Yo. need that with you, cause that that just thinking about that and alone as in the soundtrack. Cause I actually listened to the P Valley soundtrack. I did my research on P Valley. I watched yes. the episode. And, and oh, um, with me, the the show. shorty that did the intro. Fire. Um, I forgot what her name is, and please forgive me because she's fire. And I, I, I research a lot of her music too because she does mostly TV for film as well. Um, Issa Rae got her on a, a couple of the Insecure Jones, and she got the P Valley placement. She's fire. It's not many female rappers that's that that are doing that are doing it in my field. Yeah, you know I'm saying, but she's one of them. I wish I could remember her name, but I can't, and I feel horrible. But y'all heard, y'all listen to the intro, so y'all know what it is. Like. I'm mm-hmm. looking this shit up right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. Listening to it faithfully, I was like, "Yo, that album that they got." Juicy, I'm telling- I was about to call her Juicy J, Juicy Fruit. Juicy Fruit, Juicy thank sure you. Shout out to Juicy Fruit because I, I, like I, Juicy I, Fruit. I yo, yeah. she, I, I mean, just following her career, and we kind of got the same type of story as far as just getting into TV and film. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I really respect what she's doing yeah. um, for the game, and it's it's. It's not a lot of other people that are is really getting into um, TV film like that. So that's why I try to tell everybody that I know that's that's talented. Like, yo, know, if you if you got some kind of plug, do it because they're always looking for organic material because you'll get any type of s- submissions because it, it fits it. But mm-hmm. they're looking for more organic stuff. You know, what I'm saying like um, one of. My label mates, Tmar on Position Music, she signed now to, um, she got, she was signed to them first and then got signed to Radio, uh, which is Issa Rae's label. Mm-hmm. And so now she's dropping stuff with Sir and um, the dude that did the Netflix challenge. I can't remember. His brother. <laughs> you uh, know what I'm the Spanish dude or D Smoke? Yeah, D Smoke. You know what I'm saying? She got that. So she's, you know, got an end. And so yeah. I tell everybody, I follow her career too, T Mar's career, because she is something to see how did how did they make it up to that path and get them that that label or that deal that they wanted. And this essentially like I would be happy still um if I didn't get like a deal with like Rock Nation or something mm-hmm. like that. Because I have a career path. Mm-hmm. But I wanna know how to be more successful in that career path how to do something bigger and better. But if they want to sign me, I'm, we can talk about it. <laughs> we can talk about it. But I know how to independently make my money. So Good, good. So I got to ask, how was that South by Southwest 2019 situation like? Uh, amazing. For you, I ended- like, for you personally. like <laughs> I ended up winning it, a contest that I ended up like – I had to like everybody was like throwing verses that they was just freestyling to this one particular record, and I really wanted the backpack, and then that, that they they had us called dope duffel bags, and mm-hmm. they dope. But anyway, just look that up because I ain't gonna talk about them. But I wanted the backpack, mm-hmm. and um, it the the first prize was you get the backpack and um you get flued out and do this South by Southwest uh, mm-hmm. Rock Nation house um. Uh, they did a whole performance, a whole bunch of independent artists and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think I was gonna win it, John. I just did it like, like, um, driver. Know, driver was already a part of the tour. My homeboy, driver, that did that's made in Norfolk. He was already. I don't a part know of what tour. that nigga's not a part of at this point. He was already a, yo, <laughs> he a part, yo. He connected. He was already a, he was already a part of the tour that uh, yeah. Rel Carter was doing. Rel Carter is Jay Z's nephew. Blah blah blah. So he was already a part of the tour, and I was like, well, uh. I'm going to just do an a entry and I know it at least get listened to because 
somebody can might be in their ear. So I was like, at least they'll listen to it. And they, I, I ended up winning the shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> I ended up winning the shit. I did um, a quick 16 in the car, freestyle over the beat that they, they gave out. I got, they mailed me my book bag and then I went to South by Southwest. I got on a plane, ASAP Rockies in first class. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. That's dope. That's dope. That's crazy. Nigga just wanted a book bag. She ended up winning. The, I, <laughs> ended up yeah. getting a performance spot. Cause like, and then when I, when I, then when they was like, yo, you got to go to Texas and go to South by Southwest. I was like, do I really want to go to South by Southwest right now? Like, do I really want to go out there? But yeah, it just so happened I had some people out there. So I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to go out there and visit them anyway. And we we did South by Southwest. Poppy was the hype man, as usual. That footage is on Instagram, too. Shout out to Pop. Shoot, man. Man. Pop, man. She's hey, awesome. Pop, man. Hold yeah, on. like, she's awesome. People like to throw around the, the term day one, but, Nick, that's a motherfucking, man. I I'll be here all day. I don't even know how to put in the words what the fuck to. <laughs> you know, I love Pop. You know yeah, I know. Yeah. Every, you know everybody got it. When you meet Poppy, everybody got a sweet spot for Poppy. Like, that's just how it is. Yeah, but that's what you, Hey, look. That, that's your And split. if you don't, that's your, fuck that's you for one. Though. That's my hey, split star, though. Like, you, you got to <laughs> fuck with her. You know what I'm saying? We coming, we coming with the vibes. We coming with the energy. You already know what time you, it is. Look, you already know. And then, if I'm not bringing the vibe, I got to match her shit because... <laughs> she she, she fucked her, she fucked around and got comfortable on the stage, and so now I gotta match her shit. Now I'm like, hold on, now, God damn it, I can't breathe, bitch. <laughs> I be like, you gotta rap right here because now I can't breathe trying to catch up with you. Wait, what is it? She in the back talking to her like Pinky, like I told you, slow down around these motherfucking corners, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Almost made me spill my yak on this two and a half. Almost spilled my yak on my suit. <laughs> damn, BW. Hey, God, yeah, damn, damn, BW. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you on this good old Friday. Hey, look, it's definitely a good Friday, man. We got Jay Josephine in here, man. Yo, oh, man. Talking, yeah. talking hip hop with us. I man. really That's enjoyed good. this shit, yo. Like, real talk. This was one of the best interviews I ever had. Cause okay. it was natural, it felt good. Like it, it wasn't yeah. like. Yeah. And then I'm drinking champagne too, so maybe that <laughs> might be. Hey, look, you heard it here first, man. Hey, look, <laughs> look, look, she done went, she done went somewhere, everywhere, seen some everybody, talked to some everybody. This one of the best interviews. She, she said, what the fuck hey, look, it is. It, I'm telling you, it really she was. Said she said, <laughs> man, hey, look, you hear it. You hear she it. said what the fuck she said, guys. <laughs> Hey, look, any a, a we usually do this. I mean, I'm gonna I'm a leave it up to Jaw though, but uh, because this this job was just the jaw section of the show, you know. What I mean? What's your section? If it's jaw section of the show, I'm scared. Uh, hey, look, you can't because Jay ain't know me, know me, so you gotta you gotta you gotta elaborate when you say some shit belong yeah, to me. Yeah, man. Oh, hey, look, she thinks some wild shit about to come back. <laughs> hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stay ready. You ain't gotta get ready. All right, hey, man. Hey, come on with come on with the shit, man. Hey, no, I'm just playing, but no, go ahead. I know, I know y'all relationship, and I know the relationship y'all got. So I understand. Like, it's 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 a lot different for him. He's so proud of you. He talk about it all the time. He's so proud because he know I came yeah. from that mud for real. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is time. But no, so out. yeah, we 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 give flowers, and you don't know because you know the um. We had some technical bullshit going on with the A and E tried to take our fucking episode oh, yeah, down last week. But last week on the show, we actually gave you your flowers. We gave you your roses. Yeah. Oh. So I will get the I will I will find the clip. I have it on my on my hard drive. I'll send it to you personally. But we gave you your roses last week, and uh, we had a little we had a nice little little three minute segment to, to, okay. to give Jade Josephine her roses, and we Thank big you. you up. You know what I'm saying? So. Since we here today, man. We I appreciate today. it, we, man. And we and we, yeah. we we understand the struggle. We understand where you at right Y'all now. Y'all been right. here. Y'all know what's up. Hard work pays off, and and we we appreciate it. We see what you're doing. We 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 gonna continue to strive. We gonna continue to the praise. We gonna take. Just keep and, and it's so funny to me because this is you just doing you. This is you just doing you, and that's what makes yeah. it so. 
so organic. Like it's just say. look, and that's it, yo. I wake up and I open my laptop, check emails, see if I got a brief, and then I'm making beats to try to get inspiration. Most people don't know I even make beats, but and then I'm just writing. That's it. That's literally all I do all day. And then engineer, I go to the studio. I might engineer some sessions. And work, 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 and talent. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate y'all, man. Thank you. I feel special. Yeah. Sometimes appreciate sometimes you. as artists, we need this. We need to be reminded, like, somebody appreciates. For sure. And, you know, we, we definitely got more coming. But, you know, we'll worry, we'll worry about them when when it's their oh, show. Oh, when, when today is about show. Jay. Right now it's the Jay <laughs> Josephine. That's it. With B O Y B. <laughs> B O Y B. Yeah, shout yeah, out to B O Y B, man. Hey, this nigga said B O Y B. We appreciate the name suggestions. Because right now yeah. we are here, goddamn, for the squad. We with the gang right now. We still, <laughs> we, we still winging it for this. For this we still winging it. Here, but they loving it, though. So we good. <laughs> they love it. They loving it. So we good. Well, it's right. organic. <laughs> I ain't make excuses. I just learned how to do shit. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what they do. Asphalt. Out. Nah, she she blessed you because she know that's her, she know I, that's her oh, lyrics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She oh, know yeah. that's her shit. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like I said, asphalt out right now. White bear out right now. Good girl gone bad. With, hey, look, look, just go on whatever whatever your, whatever your streaming platform is. Go up there. Go get Type Jay in Jay Josephine. Josephine. Right her name is right the fuck there under her name. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about how to spell it. It's there. And yeah, it's backwards. I, I do that shit every week. I'm like, yeah, uh, subscribe. <laughs> right yeah. But um, you got that good juice. Yeah, man. type you her name in and become a fan because that's what's gonna happen. So <laughs> exactly, we we definitely appreciate it. Hey, man, love I appreciate y'all. I love y'all, man. Like taking the time forever, like deal with us. <laughs> now, nah, like I do this any any time. Like y'all could I, look, y'all can have a segment with Jade. Like I do this hey, once a month. Hey, look, hey, for real, for real, I'm gonna be honest with you, Jade. I've been trying to get rid of this nigga Ace, so I, I need. I'm gonna need another co-host. Oh my god! <laughs> I heart to kick me off too many times. Love a nigga, so they can't me back. So hey, I'm gonna need another co-host. So I'm 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 gonna I'm hit you. <laughs> Well, yeah, we definitely appreciate it. Thank you. It's love. It's Continue love. being great. Yes, sir. Thank, you, man. Thank you for having me, man. So, love is love, man. Till next time. Always. Peace, kings. All right.